There aren't many places in the world that lie on the borders of two countries in such a way that they're split between the two countries. Between India and Myanmar lies a village that is captivating not just in its beauty, but also because of its unusual geography. The village is split by the international border that also passes through the village chief's house with half of it in India and the other half in Myanmar. Find out more about the village in this video. The Konyak Naga Kingdom was founded in the 15th century. In 1947, when the British who ruled this land left, part of it was unilaterally divided into India and Myanmar. Part of the Longwa village lies in the Nagaland state, which itself is a part of the northeast region of India and the other part lies in Sagang region of Myanmar. The village is home to the Konyak tribe, the last of the headhunters in India. The practice of headhunting was culturally important to the tribe. When rival tribes fought, whichever tribe won brought back home the heads of their enemies as a gesture of power, might, prosperity, and even fertility. Practices like face tattooing, wearing accessories, headgears, and headhunting were common among the people of this tribe. With growing awareness and education, this tradition ended in around 1960. However, the elders still wear brass skull necklaces, with each skull symbolizing the heads they've cut in their lifetime. The international border doesn't just pass through the village, it also passes through the village chief's house, dividing it into two halves. The chief's house at the center of the village has its kitchen in India and bedroom in Myanmar. Similarly, there are some other houses in the village that are split between the two countries. The village has a school where children of both the nations study together and the locals get to vote in the elections of both the countries. India, by default, does not allow dual citizenship. But the law has been changed in the case of Longwa, where the locals don't require a visa to cross the borders and can roam freely in both the countries. The Longwa village is not the only place that is divided into two countries. There is the Haskell Library building that is split between the US and Canada. And then there is the Hotel Arbe that is split between France and Switzerland and the border runs through some of the rooms where one can sleep in two countries at the same time. Thank you for watching the video. If you found the video interesting, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to Seanvolution for more such content.